Welcome to Bet Smarter with Luciana, the UFC vlog brought to you by Steak.com. I hope you all enjoy the incredible fight action at the Apex and are ready for the much-awaited first pay-per-view of the year. We've got an amazing card at the UFC 270 ahead of us, being headlined by Steak Master Francis Nagano. I know that I am thrilled for this card and will be ringside at the Honda Center. Plus, I have a special treat for you guys in this week's episode. There is only one place to get started this week and that is the first title fight and much anticipated trilogy between flyweight champion Breno Moreno and Davidson Figueiredo. The first meeting between these two men was an instant classic and if that is anything to go by then we can definitely expect another classic war to remember. Moreno has proven that he is one of the most well-rounded champions in the UFC at the back of his improved boxing skills, elite submissions on the mat and unblemished chin. But his dance partner this week happens to be his arch rival and former champion, aka one of the hardest hitters in the UFC. Ultimately, I do believe this fight will be more tactical than their previous meetings and Brandon Moreno will lean on on all his toes to unlock his first title defense over 25 minutes. Next up, and this is a fight we've all been waiting for, which will determine who stands tall as the baddest man on the planet. It is a much-awaited heavyweight battle between undisputed champion Francis Nagano, who steps in for his first title defense against entering champion Cyril Gunn. As promised, my special treat for you guys this week is an exclusive interview with Francis about his upcoming fight and much more. So let's have a look at what the champ had to say. Hi, Francis. This weekend, you draw out your former training partner, Zero Gun, in your first side of defense at UFC 270. How do you see that fight playing out, and do you have an early prediction for your fans tuning in? Uh, hey, uh, Luciana. How are you doing? Good. How are you? Good, good. Um, I mean, um, I feel pretty good about that fight. Um, I think... Uh, it's gonna be a knockout for me. Another knockout, uh, probably some second round, you know. So I'm very excited about that fight. Finally, I'm gonna put the, make things very clear. I don't doubt it. <laughs> Your last fight was against Stipe Miocic, an elite wrestler, but this time you have a completely different style of challenge in front of you in a slick striker like game. So, how different was your training camp in preparation for this one? Well, um, even though Sirengan is a, a striker, you you have to give credit of his improvement, of his ability to uh, work and do be, become a, a world uh, world around a, a fighter. So, uh, at some point, he might um, try a wrestling, and I'm sure do that he's training wrestling so uh training camp has stay almost the same with the slightly different that the wrestling approach um is not as major as with Stipe Miotic with this like a elite wrestling but um as a striking striking you know it's took this both to have kind of like the same style you know moving a lot kind of like fast uh, with the only difference that Syrian gun has uh, through a lot of kick compared to Stipe. Mm, nice. Your true display of patience won you the world title against arguably the greatest of all time, which was Stipe, now it's you. Do you think patience will be the key to unlock your first title defense this weekend as well? I think patience is very important, but uh, just have to find uh, the... Um, balance between patient and uh, uh, between patient and uh, offensive you know so don't be too much patient stay collect stay calm best to be stay uh, offensive yeah okay next question your card is stacked and it features some incredible matchups. What is your most anticipated fight from the card? And do you have any bets for our stake players? My most anticipated fight in the in the card is a uh, Moreno and a uh, Figueiredo. Mm -hmm. I think that fight is a hell of a fight. Like I was even excited for the uh, I was excited for the second fight for the uh, second fight because I watched their first fight. 
uh, they went uh, the full five rounds and beat the hell out of each other. You know, I was in my house like <laughs> jumping out the couch and <laughs> getting excited. Not very often that um, flyway would get you that excited, you know, they get it. And so, yes, the second fight, I was very excited. But I was in the arena because he was uh, in Phoenix when Adesanya fought um, Marvin Vittori. So I was in the cage side and that fight, obviously Moreno finished, but it was a pretty good fight. And uh, I still have a lot of expectation on that fight. How, although I'm even, uh, I'm a little frustrated that it's right before me. I, I wish that fight was like, maybe like, Three, two, three, five before me, so I could I could have watched, or after me. <laughs> yeah. All right, your close friend and fellow stake ambassador Israel Adesanya will be facing arch rival Robert Whitaker at UFC 271. What do you think is Israel's key to victory in that rematch? Well, um, as we we saw the first one, you know. I think the key for uh, of victory for Israel is like the same thing, you know, uh, very good striking, outstanding, uh, with the care, like on the striking, very calm, very collected. Even when he uh, caught him, he he didn't rush. So it's going to be the same scenario. I, I do believe that. Perfect. Now, this question, I feel a lot of the fight fans have been intrigued by your back and forth with Tyson Fury. When and how do you see that potential matchup happening with the Gypsy King? Uh, I don't know exactly when. Maybe sometime in 2023. You know, I can't tell with uh, exactitude. But that fight will, should, will probably happen. Right. Oh, you know, it is great to see the bond between Israel, Camaro, and you, and how you guys publicly support and look out for each other. What does it mean for you to be part of this African Championship trio? And does it put any, you know, added pressure on you going into your first title defense of the year? Uh, I mean, yes and no. Um, I had the same pressure when, even when I was going to fight Stipe, you know, because we were like waiting for that, uh, for me to like be the third one. And so we can have those, uh, we can have the, we can accomplish the three kings uh, stuff, you know. So it was on me at that time to be the, to uh, win the fight and be the third champ. And uh, yeah, but still I win the fight. He also helped me and motivated me to go out there and perform pretty good because I, I didn't want to let uh, them down. I didn't want to let my country or my continent down. I didn't want to let any of my fans down. So, yes, it's always a, a side of it will bring you more pressure, but it's also like a motivation. Yeah. All right. Last, good luck on your big fight, Francis, and feel free to share any final messages you might have for your steak predator fans. Uh. I would just say uh, thank you for for the support. Thank you for uh, following. You know, it's a very it's been a very long training camp, uh, very exhausting, full of uh, emotion. You know, and uh, it's always good to like feel supported and have uh, your fans behind you. The stake uh, predator fans is <laughs> amazing. You know, feeling that basically at this moment of the camp that you your body is kind of like exhausted, the pressure is going up. You can't wait for that final day to to knock out the, this thing, you know. So thank you all. Thank you, everyone. And thank you for stake.com for the support, uh, for the huge support as well, for supporting me, being my partner and uh, be alongside of alongside me for this in June. Well, we're almost there. Can't wait to watch you in the octagon. I'll be working at the fights and I'm sure all the stake fans will be watching you too and cheering and hoping for the best, which we're sure that it's going to happen. So yeah, good luck. Okay. Thank you, Luciana. Thank you, everyone.
It was amazing to hear from Francis there. I am certain that the steak family is going to cheer him on and back that round two knockout bat slip. This is one of the most intriguing title fights of the year as an undefeated contender meets one of the most feared champions in the UFC. I mean, Francis is undeniably the hardest hitter in the UFC and none, I said none, have survived a clean punch from the champion yet. Although Gunn prides himself on his leap movement to avoid his opponent's best shots, I do believe Francis has fought a much better competition and his improved patient fighting style will help him unlock his first title defense by knockout. For this incredible first pay-per-view event of the year, Steak have an amazing offer revolving around the champion, giving you up to three times your winnings if the Predator simply ends the night early. It's an offer worthy of this stack card, so do check out Steak's website for all the details. I cannot wait to enjoy this fight's ringside at the Honda Center this weekend, so please guys, do have a great weekend, and I'll be back in a couple weeks to preview some classic Apex action. Until next time, ciao!